Nana Tsarosia is getting ready for a new school year in Chuburhinji, a small village in Abkhazia, close to the administrative boundary line. Nana has been teaching first graders for the last 18 years. She knows that children have to like their classroom to enjoy lessons. Keeping school premises tidy was not an easy task before, with the building deteriorating and in need of repair. But this year, the Chuburhinji school is greeting children with freshly painted walls, fixed roof and refurbished classrooms. Our school is very old. We did our best to keep the place neat and parents of school children would help us. But this was not enough for making classrooms really comfortable. We have a brand new building now. It looks beautiful and shiny. Our students will come to the renovated school. I'm sure they will love it and will study well. Armed conflict, social unrest and economic disruption in the past 20 years left Abkhazia with crumbling infrastructure and growing poverty. The maternity wards in Gali and Gagra hospitals have been fully refurbished and equipped. In Gali only, the hospital served up to 120 newborns and mothers for the last six months. Medical personnel is very good here, our doctor especially. All of them are caring and attentive. We are checking out today, but it's so good here that we would rather stay. Medical assistance is one of the issues in Abkhazia. Rural clinics suffer from the lack of equipment and qualified staff, and people have little access to information and services. Mobile labs go wherever needed most and provide testing for HIV AIDS hepatitis and other transmitted diseases. We travel to the remote villages where people have no other chance to see a doctor or to do medical testing. We have the latest equipment for quick tests and explain to the patients what to do and where to go if they need further treatment. We help with the basic needs, infrastructure, medical services, water supply and sanitation. At the same time, we are also helping people to become more reliant, to have better education, to have better jobs, and to start their own business. People in crisis areas, they need some new start of their life. They need new opportunities, and this is what we are about. From education and healthcare opportunities, to repairing critical infrastructure and supporting individuals and communities with skills and training for improved livelihoods. UNDP's comprehensive approach supports thousands in towns and villages across Abkhazia. A normal day-to-day -day life helps overcome the impacts of crisis. Traces of war are still apparent, but people can deal with everyday problems and look to the future.